Welcome to Next Game's video on how to beat this month's Volume 2 Ambuscade on any difficulty. Now I say any difficulty, but this month almost everyone should be able to beat this on very difficult, as they have made this one quite easy in my opinion. First, let's talk about the key item. This month we have to kill elementals, and they are always up in the islands in Ruan Gardens regardless of weather, so I recommend you use Home Point Warp to one of those islands to get this month's kills. Now the fight itself is against a Porxy, an Air Elemental, and a Light Elemental. Only the Porxy needs to be killed in order to win this fight. Now in my first few runs through this, I was killing the L Elemental first, then the Light, and then finishing with the Porxy. This worked fine, but it also took me 10 to 15 minutes depending on if I chose to use Sand Spells to kill those Elemental quicker. Now I knew that only the Porxy needed to be killed in order to win this, so I thought I'd try a different strategy and it did not disappoint. First, let's talk about what each of these mobs will do, as the list of moves is quite limited for each. The Air Elemental will favor spamming Aeroga 2 and Aeroga 3. Both hit for 250 to 500 damage, with 3 occasionally hitting your truss for upwards of 700 damage. The Air Elemental can also silence you, and his melee hits will hit for 50 to 150 damage. Now the Light Elemental favors using Shellra 5 to start the fight, and then uses Kuraga 3 for the rest of the fight. However, Kyogre 3 only cures for about 500 health, so it's really nothing to worry about. The Light Elemental also hits for 50 to 150 damage per attack round. The Porxy will cast Paralyze 2 and Haste 2, as well as Arrow 4, which will hit for 250 to 500 damage if not blocked by your shadows. The Porxy will also use two additional abilities, Brewing Storm, which is a single target damage ability that does 500 damage if not blocked by your shadows, and be Clouding Dust, that is an AoE flash ability that doesn't appear to be that powerful. Now normally, the thought of having all these mobs on you would be concerning, but they all hit for so little amount of damage, and have such long delays on their melee attack rounds, that there really isn't much threat here. Now when I use this strategy, I come Dancer Subjob, so that I can get silence off of my Mage Trust if one of them happened to get silenced by an Air Elemental. For Trust, we will be using August to tank and hold hate on the Porxy itself. Seth will restore HP, MP, and TP to the party. Omia for March, Korumoru for Haste, and Yoran Oran will keep us all alive. Make sure to put Inan, Yane, and Kaka up before you head into the fight, and your main focus is to get in as much damage as quickly as possible and not focusing on things like recasting shadows or pulling the elementals off your Trust. Just go ahead and act like you're a damage dealing job. If you are able, I would strongly recommend self skill chaining on this, as well as dual magic bursting to speed it up. If you can't, you should still be able to use this strategy, but it's going to take you an extra 2-3 to three minutes to win. Let's see how this strategy goes. Enjoy the fight everyone.
And that's it. As you can see, it's pretty easy this month. It only takes two to three minutes. Now, if you don't have those trusts and are having difficulty replicating the strategy that I just presented, here's another one that should work for most people. This time, I have the warrior sub job to hold hate on the main porksy and to help keep some hate on the elementals so that they aren't always on the trust. We swap August for Joachim in this setup for some extra bard songs. In this strategy, you won't be having much chance to magic burst, so just try and get some skill chains in when you can. You will want to use Yonin and Gekka for enmity gain, as well as Kaka for enhanced TP gain as well. Now, just like with the first fight, you want to get in as much damage to the Porxy as quickly as you can. Open with a Provoke on the Porxy, and then a Warcry to get some hate on the Elementals. Then recast Shadows for your last bit of hate, and get to work. Now, as the fight goes on, use your Shadows to help control hate, and have the Elementals bounce between the Trust and you. If you feel the Trust are taking too much damage, and that you can handle more, go ahead and use the Provoke on the Elemental to pull them off that Trust. Just note that doing so will keep that elemental on you for a good period of time. Now as you can see here, I'm not recasting my shadows so that I can lose a bit of hate while I take damage and let the elementals start to bounce around. If I want them back from now on, I simply need to recast shadows to keep them bouncing, or provoke to stop them from bouncing and have them on me. Enjoy the rest of the fight everyone. And that's it for this month's Ambuscade videos. Make sure you watch for some new videos in the A Guide to Ninja series continuing this month, and have a great month everyone.